David, many of those parents wanted the chance to see board members and the superintendent face to face tonight, but didn't get it. The district moved the school board meeting online. In fact, the district office closed early this afternoon. Officials telling us because of reports of a planned rally. Tonight, some parents still showed up in person. I showed up at the place where you guys were supposed to have your meeting tonight, but um, for some reason you decided not to be there. Gabriel Bueller is angry. Count him among several parents who were anxious to speak with Tiger Tualatin school district officials in person Monday night and had to settle for a virtual board meeting. Their anger stems from an incident last month. That's when one student attacked another student in the hallway of Hazelbrook Middle School in Tualatin. The now viral video shows the student walking up behind another, pulling her down by her backpack, then hitting her several times in the head and shoulder area before walking away. People on social media claim the attacking student was transgender and that other young girls at the school were in danger. In the days that followed, multiple school threats came in via social media and email. Threats of shootings and even a bombing. School was evacuated and canceled for two days. Parents, including Gabriel, are at a loss. We had a number of parents show up here tonight, including the mom of the girl that uh, was attacked. And you know what I found out tonight that was very concerning to me is not a single one of you reached out to that mom. Many parents complain that district policies aren't doing enough to deter violence. Students at Hazelbrook know that aggressors have no real consequences and that violence simply continues. Hazelbrook Middle School is consumed by a culture of tolerance towards hate and violence disguised as healing and restorative. Shortly after the attack, the superintendent of the Tiger Tualatin School District said the attacking student has been turned over to law enforcement for an assault investigation. That student made an incredibly awful choice and, and will, uh, will have consequences that are meted out commensurate with that assault. However, this other piece, which is because the student has a particular gender identity, therefore there is no connection and that is the hate that we are dealing with right now. Still, parents like Gabriel say it's the big picture of inadequate school safety the district officials are failing to recognize. You guys are wrong. Fix it. Tonight, the Tiger Tualatin School District Alliance for Safety and Education is also weighing in. They shared a statement with us saying in part they want the district to create clear and actionable policies that protect students from violence while creating a stimulating learning environment for all. David. Catherine Cook reporting tonight. Thank you, Catherine.